And now, turn your attention to the screens for a video interview with Austin Russell, a Stanford dropout, former Teal Fellow, and the Chief Executive Officer of Luminar Technologies. Hi, I'm Austin Russell, founder and CEO of Luminar. I was about 17, you know, when uh, you know first started Luminar. By that point, I had been working in the photonics industry for a little while. Um, started at a super early age of just always wanting to know how, the hows and whys of the way things worked. By around 12, I uh, was building supercomputer systems. Uh, always was interested in trying to make revolutionary moves on various technologies rather than just incremental improvements and. You know, I think those revolutionary moves carry and people see value in that regardless of the age of the one that actually creates that, that value. LiDAR is the way that these autonomous vehicles understand and see the world out there in terms of not just if there's something there, but where it is and even helping determine what it is, which has traditionally been a huge challenge and is obviously critical for you know these cars to be able to know. Rather than using a bunch of off-the-shelf components and packaging them together like everyone has traditionally been, the reason why there haven't been any advancements in performance is that we built all of our own components from scratch, from the ground up, completely rethought the way LiDAR was built for the past you know couple of decades. We have one laser and one receiver in our product and it sees about 50 times the resolution and 10 times as long a range as some of the best performing stuff out there. We see things and interpret it in 2D. It's literally just thinking on a different dimension. So what you can see here is the raw 3D data coming off of our LiDAR sensor. So these different colors are representing different distances in the image. And you can see you know, these different cars, people crossing. Um, the, this is the Embarcadero in San Francisco. And you're seeing all of this in real time. And again, this is the raw data that no one will ever really show you that's coming off of these, you know, uh, LiDAR sensors. And what's really cool about this is that rather than just being a sparse array of 3D points where you can't really construct what it looks like, this is actually approaching, you know, camera-like resolution from a LiDAR, which is really unheard of, to the point of where you can even make out what's going on in the scene by eye. And because of the fact that this is true 3D data, you know, we can pan this virtual camera around and show all these different possible angles, uh, whereas the car is actually seeing it in true 3D though. The way that we collect this 3D data is by sending out laser pulses into the environment uh, and measuring the exact time it takes for it to hit an object and come back. And based on that, and based on us measuring, you know, the speed of light essentially of this, we can collect, you know, millions of points per second out in the environment, know exactly how far away they are. But you know, the annoying part for us is the speed of light is just too slow. So we're kicking off a 10,000 unit run uh, at the end of this year to be able to really meet the demands of what these autonomous test fleets are going to require uh, to prepare for ultimate deployment of these fully autonomous vehicles. We have an opportunity to be able to save, you know, millions of lives that we lose out on the road, uh, you know, countless ones every year. And it's something that is a truly solvable problem. We're enabling these autonomous cars to go from just being cool demos to actually having real world commercial deployments and allowing them to get to the point where they no longer need a backup driver constantly babysitting the wheel ready to take over at any moment and allowing them to be truly autonomous.